Hey guys, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share these sweet little votive candle holders that I made using recycled baby food jars. I use baby food to make doggy treats for Biscuit and Bandito, and I have lots of little baby food jars that I have saved up, and I thought this would be a perfect chance to share this upcycling project with you guys. This is my entry into Sweet Milk Shop's Craft While Recycling Challenge. And I'll put a link in the description box below to Lena's challenge video so you guys can go check out all the details for yourself. And I'm gonna attach here a little tutorial sharing how I made these. I'm taking a baby food jar and I've cleaned it all off, taken off the label, and any of that gummy residue that gets left on there, you can just take a paper towel and a little bit of cooking oil, rub it, and it will come right off. It's super clean. And then of course you wash it with soap and water and dry it before you start doing this project. I'm also taking some matte Mod Podge and I'm taking an old paintbrush that I reserve only to use with glue and Mod Podge. And I put a thin coat of it on all around my baby food jar. Now, I don't need a really heavy coat because I'm gonna go over the top of it with more Mod Podge, but I want something that the lace can stick to. And I'm not worried about the top either because I'm going to be covering that up with a different lace. Now I've cut a piece of lace about eight and a half inches in length. And this beautiful lace is one that I got from Julie's store, TPG Crafts. And this lace in particular, the pattern repeats at just the right point. So as you can see right there, I'm just overlapping it about a, an inch or so. The repeat in the pattern is perfect to fit around the baby food jar without conflict, meaning the pattern repeats perfectly around the circumference of the baby food jar. Now I am going to put a good coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing, pretty much saturating it. And this lace actually has a shimmer. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but when you put the matte Mod Podge over top of it, the shimmer disappears. But that's a good way of being able to double check to make sure that you've covered up the entire piece of lace. I'm gonna speed this up, but you'll see that I cover the entire piece of lace over top of the jar, and then I'm turning them over and I'm gonna let them dry overnight. So this is how the glass jars look after drying overnight. The Mod Podge has dried clear over the glass portions and because I had saturated the lace with the Mod Podge, the lace is actually hard and really securely adhered to the glass. I wanted to just mention here that I've seen some YouTube videos where people are making votive holders with lace and they remove the glass from the votive holder and I actually recommend keeping the glass in there because I think having the lace really close to real votive candles could pose a fire hazard unless you're gonna be using the little battery operated votives. So I'm just decorate the top lip of the baby food jars with some trim. And the trim that I picked out was this beautiful trim that was gifted to me by V, who's Virginia 1468. And I love this box pleated organza topped with this beautiful satin and lacy ribbon at the top. And I thought it contrasted nicely, but coordinated nicely with this much more delicate, ornate lace that I put on the sides of the jar. So what I'm gonna do is align, find that seam where I adhere the lace um, on the jar, and that's gonna be the back of my votive holder. And I'm just gonna take some E6000 and put that all along the top lip of the jar just so that I make sure that the trim that I adhere is on completely securely. 
E6000 is great for these kind of non-porous surfaces. And then I am going to align this ribbon right there, um, the back seam. And then to secure it, I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and just secure it like that. And then to add a little bit more bling to this, I chose this beautiful pearlescent bead trim. It's a really small beaded trim and it was gifted to me by Lisa, who's Maggie 2005 Cupcake. And it's got clear, which I thought played off nicely with the glass, you know, the clearness of the glass. So again, I'm gonna start where that back seam is and I'm using my hot glue gun to secure that down. And I love this hot glue gun. It's a sure bonder with the fine tip nozzle because then I don't get globs of hot glue. And I just make sure that I don't put strand of hot glue down. I don't want the hot glue to harden before I can get the strand on it. And then I'm just going to take that measurement there, eyeball it. And that's it. That's the little votive holder. I think this would be great for a little gift for a wedding, for an anniversary, just as table decor at a party. They're really sweet and so, so pretty. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up.